Ali Reza Faruja is the youngest chess player to reach a over the board rating of 2800, beating both Hikaru Nakamura and world champion Magnus Carlsen. It should also come as no surprise that he is really good when it comes to chess puzzles. However, there are puzzles that are even so tricky that Ali Reza Faruja messes up and today I've taken three of those exact puzzles and it will be up to you to find the correct solution. So in these puzzles we'll go ahead and look at the move that Ali Reza Faruja played, look at why it doesn't work and then focus on the correct solution as well. You're watching the Chess Geek channel, we upload every other day so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Let's jump into the puzzles. So puzzle number one is on the screen right now. It is black to play. White has just made the move rook to h1, which is a bad move because now black has a nice tactical idea. So pause the video and give this a shot. What do you play with the black side? Alireza Faruja in this position played the move knight to e4, check. It makes a lot of sense. You centralize the knight, it comes with a forcing check. But the issue is that after king to e3, this king is surprisingly safe in the center of the board because there are many white pieces surrounding it and giving it shelter. And therefore, there's no continuation. This pawn is in fact also quite well defended. So let's go ahead and take a step back. The correct solution in this position is to infiltrate first with the queen. You go queen to c2 check. Now the point is that after the king comes to g3, well, now we are happy to infiltrate with the knight because the queen is already in the game. And so the difference is, once the king continues to run away, our queen has a better avenue towards the attack. And for example, here, queen to f2 seals the deal. We attack the knight. We're also putting some pressure um, on the square on g3. This queen might be overworked, as you might notice, protecting both h8 mate and queen to g3 mate. So there's a lot of issues for them to defend from. For example, knight to h4, and we simply can go knight takes on g5 and crash through. Now, if we quickly take a step back in this position, white has other alternatives. They do not have to come to g3, and instead they can go, for example, queen to e2. But now, of course, we again infiltrate knight to e4. The king comes again to e3, but now we have the move queen takes e3 and a nice fork, which is why the rook coming to h1 was a grave mistake. It is now very vulnerable to this nice forking idea. The final option that white has is to step to the first rank. And so, for example, king to g1. But again, we come knight to e4, and it's the same combination of two pieces, the knight and the queen. It is such a strong attack. There is now the idea of going queen to f2 checkmate, and it again is just very difficult to defend from. For example, rook h2, well now we can give this check, we can slowly inch closer into the position and they have to now give away the knight, and it's a devastating attack. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to puzzle number two. It is black to play in this position. What do you play here? I would urge you to pause the video and give this a think as well. The correct solution here is bishop to h4. Now, Alareza played this move. It's very natural. You force the king to basically take the bishop, but now he played the move bishop takes on f2. And this is a wrong idea because although you are attacking the queen with check, it seems very crushing. There's a nice desperado move. Queen takes h6, giving away the queen for the rook. And in the end position, white has completely fine here. Um, the material is roughly equal and the king and pieces are slightly more active for white. This is roughly equal. What is the correct solution? Well, in this position, you play the move bishop g5 with a very similar idea. You're trying to attack the queen while simultaneously checking the king. But of course, now you don't allow this resource, this annoying queen takes h6 idea. And the resulting position is one where black is up the exchange with very active pieces. It's very good for black. Ladies and gentlemen, I have saved the toughest puzzle for last. It is black to play here. This is the trickiest one. What do you play in this position with the black side? So in this position, Feruja played the move bishop to d4 check. It makes a lot of sense. But after the king moved down, he continued giving the natural check, bishop to e6. Again, this is very logical, but what you'll notice is that when the king comes to a4, it is again surprisingly safe here. The bishops look strong, but there is this pawn shelter that is keeping this king on a4 rather safe. Therefore, if we go back, this is now using the principle where you basically want to bring as many attackers into the game as possible. So these bishops, they're already in the game, they're already strong. The correct solution here is the simple rook h to e8. You bring another attacker in the game, there is now some devastating ideas. For example, 
if white plays a random move, bishop h4, we're going to give this check. We can then take over here with a fork and, you know, the attack continues. We don't even have to take this rook. We can continue getting the other rook into the game first with some more devastating ideas. So you can see that black's pieces are all together working to attack and coordinate against the white king. And so if anything, this is more of a conceptual puzzle than one that requires a lot of calculation. It's basically this idea of bring as many attackers into the game. I finally do want to note that after this check originally, the king can't go back, sure, but again, we're going to use that same principle. We go rook to e8, bring another attacker into the game, and we're slowly creeping in uh, towards this king. It won't end well for white. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned from these puzzles, from the mistakes that Faruja made. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos just like this one here and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.